This is a special birthday wish to my firstborn as we are still celebrating. Who says you have to stop celebrating on the day of your child's birthday? Miss Annie the Kinder Clown says you don't. You should celebrate your children 365 days out of the year, but really turn things up on the week of their birthday. Each day in our house is an adventure, a new adventure. Today's dessert are big, beautiful, blooming flour cookies with a hint of powdered sugar on them. And that's what they're made by. Her birthday mom, yes. <laughs> Here are some of her favorite things to eat on the weekends when she does not have to work and clock in. Okay, so popcorn is in this box right here, keeping it nice and fresh, but there's her popcorn cup. And I'm going to make her her favorite half and half lemonade and iced tea with a hint of ginger. Yes, honey. So happy birthday again to my dainty butterfly. I am going to fix her breakfast. And these are just some of the little books that she likes and has collected. And I thought I would put it on display so when she comes downstairs, she will see just how special she is to me. And I say to you parents with this parent tip, be creative and inventive in whatever you do for your loved ones. If they like popcorn, get a special cup or a special dish or bowl to put it in. And pour some melted butter on top if that's what they like. And make their special beverage, if you please. And if they have a sweet tooth, you could most assuredly make creative and inventive shaped cookies. You could use cookie cutters or roll them out into the little balls that I rolled out to create these flowers. Put it in a nice dish. I included this dish as one of her gifts. <laughs> Since aquamarine is the color for March, Boom, there you have it. That's what we did and put it on a blue pedestal. So I am giving thanks. I'm giving uh, glory back to God and honor to him for blessing me to live to see my creative, beautiful daughter. She's a beautiful swan to me. <laughs> I am here for this and to encourage other parents to do the same. If you do not have a budget, for example, then have something at home, a tea party, and then just have just few a few intimate friends and guests over and let them sign a guest book, such as what you see here, and maybe do a little storytelling, okay, and have a fiend stuffed animal or something just to sit on the table and just have some milk and cookies. You can make chocolate or strawberry milk by using the different syrups that they have in the market. Or, or you could make it a popcorn party and make different flavors of popcorn. You could make candy popcorn, marshmallow, popcorns, caramel, butter popcorn, or cheese popcorn. Find out more about these wonderful and creative ideas on Pinterest. Now, who's to say that your loved ones like popcorn and cookies? Not everybody likes popcorn and cookies, so what about fixing their favorite breakfast or their favorite lunch or dinner? 
I am going to do all of the above. <laughs> we have leftovers from yesterday, which was fried uh, Cajun catfish with mashed potatoes with a splash of Mrs. Dash, honey, just to give it a little spice. And I put cheese in it and melted it because that's the way she likes it. And then I made some French green bean and onion for the side dish. Yes, and tacos for lunch. Now for breakfast, if you're going to surprise your loved one with breakfast, then you better get started because at the time now, it's about 6.55 a.m. and I have completed all of the above. I am here for this. Give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercies endure forever. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner is how you can definitely get a head start on celebrating your loved one. And if you look way in the back, I've got my air fryer <laughs> because I am getting ready to air fry my bacon and also sausage links, and we will have pancakes with fried uh, fried eggs and a little onions in an omelet. So guys, I want you to be encouraged to do great things for your loved one. You could have a tea party with some of your daughter's friends and cookies or popcorn. And then there's me. You could invite me, Miss A-N-N-I-E, or you can order it all from me. My link is in the bio of how you can get in touch and stay in touch with Annie serving the Baltimore Metropolitan Community. This is a parent tip saying, you don't have to spend a whole lot of money but just your time is and always will be appreciated by your loved one. Have a great, a blessed, and wonderful day. And I will show you later how we are going to set up things for our tea party because that's what she and I are going to have on tomorrow. Bye-bye.